Hello everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today I'll be bringing to you guys the first episode of Francisco de Almeida, The Old World. They might say I already have the gold medal there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit awkward, but I actually did a recording yesterday of this level blind, um, but it wasn't recording any of my game sound for some reason. Uh, so I decided, hey, you know what, might as well just set, it, set the game down, come back to it a little bit later, and redo the level a second time. Let's go ahead and get started. My captain is dead. Tell King Manuel that the red blood of Francisco de Almeida, conqueror of the Indies, stains a white beach at the edge of his empire. At the braving Spanish knights, Berber horsemen, and Indian elephants, because the king lost faith in the devoted servant took his life's breath. Lies, they whispered in our king's ear. They called Don Francisco mad with lust for power, riches, and glory. Those jackals. Those men who had never set foot on a swaying caravel in a monsoon, or felt the heat of the African sun sting upon a reddened neck. Was not my captain's devotion measured in the sweat and blood he poured across three continents and three oceans. I was a boy in the battlefield of Toro, birth the legend of Don Francisco. While the last of the Moors held in Granada, the Christian kingdoms of Iberia warred for the throne of Castile. King Henry had died, leaving his kingdom to his daughter Juana, wife of King Alfonso of Portugal. The union of the two lands was celebrated in our country, but for the ambition of a queen, it was not to be. Queen Juana's 25-year-old aunt, Isabella, sought the throne for herself. Her powerful husband, the King of Aragon, led his army into Castile to seize the crown for his wife and unite that kingdom with his own. The armies of Aragon and Portugal met in the city of Toro to decide the fate of the three kingdoms. Okay, I will make the same comment that I did when I first listened to this intro blind. Uh, I really did like the emotion that the voice actor put into that first part about his captain. Uh, that's something that I find was pretty lacking in other voice acting in uh, the Definitive Edition so far. It's been well done, but uh, maybe lacking a little bit of emotional punch. Anyhow, our main objectives here are to defend the city of Toro. Our hints tell us that you are restricted to the castle age and a population limit of 200. The Aragonese can train new units while you initially cannot, so speed and aggressiveness is critical. Killing the Duke of Alba and Cardinal Mendoza will provide you with gold to use later once you take control of the Juanista forces. The bridge into Isabelista held Zamora is well defended, but finding a beachhead further east will give you access to the less defended parts of the city and farmlands. Your scouts report that Francisco de Almeida commands the Portuguese reserve in Toro in Green, a city on the Duero River. The battle has not gone well for the Portuguese, and King Alfonso's army in red has routed. The remaining soldiers hide on the outskirts of the battlefield. Only Prince Juan himself will restore their fighting courage. Aragon in yellow controls the field with three military camps. Its traditional army consists of cavalry, swordsmen, and archers as well as a new organ gun captured from the Portuguese. The Duke of Alba and Cardinal Mendoza command the army. Zamora straddles the river west of Toro. The city is divided between the allied Juanistas in purple, who control the north bank of the river, and the enemy Isabelistas in gray, who command the south. Both sides consist of pikemen, condottieri, crossbowmen, siege weapons, and limited light cavalry. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so right off the start, we're gonna encounter a force 
of enemy units here. I want to micro San Juan a little bit so that he doesn't fall to the paladins here. And then let our range units take care of the rest. We cannot hide in Toro like rats. When our enemies have three camps sitting away. here in Zamora in the... that we must destroy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Away. So as you see, there's some uh, red units over here. Uh, if you bring your we Prince Juan unit men. close to the men. If Prince Juan goes to them, they will find their courage. Yep. Aptly uh, summarized by Francisco there. If we bring Juan to the red soldiers here, we'll actually be able to pick them up. The Duke of Alba and Cardinal Mendoza are patrolling nearby. Capturing them would fetch a large ransom. So we have another secondary objective, which is to find an unhorsed Duke of Alba and the Cardinal Mendoza. And if we are able to do so, each of those will get us a squad of a tribute of like 500 gold or so. But, uh, like they mentioned, we want to make good use of aggressiveness and timing here because we will get uh, squads of units sent at us periodically and um, we cannot really replenish our forces short of discovering more with Juan, whereas the enemies will constantly be training from the camps that they've got. If I remember correctly here, we should see some red units in this area. Great. We have a missionary. And if we cross this bridge, we'll actually find even more units. This missionary will be crucial for us because it'll let us heal our units between battles. And over here in this corner, we'll see that we have a ram. That ram will come in very handy for us later. We do lose a couple of units, but we got the Duke of Alba on our side. There's our sizable ransom, indeed. And you can see that we have a camp over here. I want to keep moving the Duke around. And keep fighting the ranged units as we are here. I kill off the range units, and then that should bait out a bunch of swordsmen now as well. Now, if they only send units at us one at a time like this, we should be in very good shape. I have to continue using Francisco de Almeida here. They've got a scorpion in this camp. Let's use Juan to take him out. Oh, I don't want to lose Juan here. So let's actually back him out. Move him back this way towards the missionary for some healing. Let's have the missionary try to pick up the cavalier here. Okay, he dies. That's okay. We're losing pikemen here. Let's try to avoid that. And instead, clean these guys up. We also want to avoid using our ram if we can. 
Uh, losing our ram there does suck. I actually managed to save that ram on the first go. So now destroying these camps will be much more difficult. I will atone for my mistakes in due time. But yes, if you, you don't want to lose that ram. Because uh, I don't think you get any other siege equipment. So we'll slow, slow down our progress on these camps somewhat. But in the end, we should still have plenty of units here. I just need to keep scouting around. There we get a monk, which is really nice, which means we have two healing units, which is pretty good. We can expect more incoming squads at some point. Let's continue scouting around with our prince. Let's regroup in the ruins of the camp here. Try to cross the bridge to see if there's any units over there. And I know that the next camp is actually northwest here. To scout the area to make sure it's safe. And there you see we got 500 gold. Oh, there's a relic here, of course. No reinforcements, sadly. That relic will come in handy later. But the second camp is going to be in the northwestern section here. There's a blind lame priest with a wolf. Still want to sit on this uh, hill for the time being. Blind lame priest ain't so blind. Ain't so lame either. Found a squad of enemies there. Let's bait them back to our group. Much appreciate it, blind lame priest man that's uh, not blind and not lame. And here's where the other camp is. Now we're just baiting out tons of units. Let's put some cavalry on the organ gun. And this time he's just horrible. So now we're fighting on two fronts at once. We're going to lose a lot of units here, sadly. Can we snipe the organ gun? I think we were able to, thankfully. Lost a bunch of pikemen, but that's kind of what they're for. Of key note is that we still have our monk. And we still have our missionary. I think there are some units up in the north here to recruit. Let's keep going on a recruit mission. Scout around. Let's recontrol group these guys to two. Start battering down the gate. And yes, we did pick up more pikemen up here. Indeed, 
Sim, quais são? Ataca! Entendidos! Ao centro do Quais são as vossas ordens? Let's get our Dawn back here. Didn't lose anyone to conversion, which is very good. And meanwhile, we're all healed back up. And we're going to want to put Pikeman onto this Cavalier here. This will be where Cardinal Mendoza comes in. So Mendoza pays us well. That's another 500 gold for us. And they're sending another squad of units at us. Somehow we lost two light cavalry here. Don't really know what happened. I'm not sure I want to know. Yeah, how did that happen? Did the villagers just go like Rambo on us? Not sure what to think. Might need to recheck the video for that. I'll take down the tents so that the population space of the Aragonese army gets hampered somewhat. And in case you're wondering if you can capture a uh, convert villagers, you can't. They all have heresy. I'll actually take this time for Prince Juan to scout out a little bit more. I think there's more units for us to recruit. You should be safe. Come on, Juan. I know you've got more left in you to explore. But with just uh, archers being sent after us, it's really not too big of a deal. We have a firing squad of units, so long as we don't lose too many of our ranged units. We can micromanage them pretty well. And the remaining camp is actually going to be to the west over here. He's got a handful more of melee units. <laughs> Lacking ballistics makes villagers like Neo from the Matrix. Let's uh, relocate to this hill here. And have our prince continue scouting. You know, it would be nice to still have uh, our... It would still be nice to have our ram, but it's not critical. Like, I will demonstrate. I want to convert him, I want to convert him, I want to convert him. He's very resistant to conversion. I guess he'll just we'll just he'll just die then. Could have joined us, but in the end he just wanted to die. Gotta say I admire the honor behind it. Let's 
This bridge is out. And with these forces coming from the left, from the west here, it's fairly obvious that this is where the final camp is. Gotta say, I appreciate that uh, the Spanish don't get crossbows. I think we have recruited just about everyone we could possibly recruit. The main thing now is to make a slow push into the final camp here. That is an onager. So we want to kill off the onager before he gets a good shot off on us. And I don't know if they've got any more forces for us to bait out. Let's use Prince Juan to come in and survey the area a little bit. Let's try not to get him trapped though. As we bait out their forces, eventually all they will have left are forces that are being replenished, which should just be archers and longswordsmen. I know they had a missionary back here. Let's focus down the missionary if we can. Okay, very nice. Let's break down this tower here. Tower's finished, so now what we should focus on doing is busting down each building of this camp one at a time. We'll quickly see that uh, this is the right course of action for us. I don't think the Siege Workshop will produce anything in addition. I mean, they've got rams, but it's not like rams are going to be doing anything useful for them. And we notice some of these buildings actually join our side here. There's no real need to worry about that base just yet. <laughs> Something I do like about the Portuguese is that their voice lines sound so friendly. Like they sound so happy. <laughs> this blind lame priest has just been following us around. He's a scammer. He's one of us. Oh, he'll heal the enemies too. That's kind of funny, actually. We have achieved a great victory over Aragon, but do not rest then. The treacherous oh, followers of Isabella still divide Zamora. Okay, so now we have control over this town. What we'll want to do right away is put these villagers on wood. Get produ producing some fishing ships and then start producing some villagers. C 
Uh, with the exception of our monk here, we'll want this monk to pick up this relic and put it in the monastery here. And then this fortress belongs to the enemy. We're going to be picking up a bunch of Kondo Tiro here. Four fishing ships would be enough on the water. And they do send us uh, a force of enemies here. Not sure where this bear emerged from. But he's an enemy bear. Let's use our light cavalry to bait these guys out. I don't want to actually fight the pikemen, I just want to use these guys as bait. We should be able to repel these guys fairly handily. There's a couple galleys here. That's a non-issue more or less. Let's move our fire galley over. And we definitely don't want to be losing our hand cannons for no reason here. Our crossbowmen somehow stuck in here. We lost our trade workshop, which is rough, but not the worst thing to happen to us. And let's get more organ gun production coming out. And once we kill off these two galleys, they should have no more galleys to speak of. So we'll start training some more villagers here. Let's bait that galley over to our tower instead of fighting underneath their tower. And then have new villagers come out to go on farms. Now we did pick up the relic here. Let's get our monk inside the transport so we can pick up the relic that's sitting on that island. We got a good trade. And the next step is to get more and more villagers out. And of course, continue pumping out organ guns. Where, where is this monk going? Hello? Oh, I didn't mean to wander into castle fire there. That's a waste of an organ gun. Have these villagers go to the outskirts of the city. I'll just chill out for a little bit. Get in the boat, unload on this island. More veils on food, more veils on gold. 
could always use more on wood as well. Wood is going to be our main limiting resource here because we're going to be producing lots of organ guns, crossbowmen, and farms, of course. Do I have a mill somewhere? I don't actually believe that I do. Do I seriously not have a mill anywhere? That's actually pretty surprising. Oh, now we do have a mill. Let's get heavy plow. Put villagers on these farms. We have auto reseed on as well. And now we should basically be fine for the foreseeable future. Let's get some garrison rams. That'll be our unit of choice. And let's continue turning out villagers. Pick up the relic. Cross the ocean here. Or the river, rather. Put our second relic inside this monastery. And let's pick up Bosa. And build a couple more organ guns and another ram once we get the wood. Why Sawash Bastas Dorage? We got condos, we got a capped ram. Let's get more vills. Ooh, and husbandry only costs 150 food? I remember when it used to cost 250 food. Maybe that changed. I guess 250 food is somewhat overpriced. We'll pick up husbandry, why not? We'll also want to think about picking up armor upgrades. We've got two... We've got two blacksmiths, so we can work them twice as fast. Let's get a battering ram out. Put you guys on gold. And stone's actually not even going to be super useful here for us. Because we can't actually build new castles. Not that we will need them. Getting more vills on food will always be a positive thing. But let's grab thumb ring. And also think about grabbing a bodkin arrow. Bodkin, bodkin, yes. Let's get another ram out. Keep getting villagers out. And we we'll want to pick up ballistics next, once we get the wood. Which we do now. Ballistics is in. Very good. Let's also do infantry armor. Let's get villagers on that gold pile. Bring our monk over to this side. Get more organ guns online. Pick up hand cart. And then also think about getting iron casting out next. 
Quais são os serviços? Quais são os serviços? Entendido. Sim, sim. Ao ser disposto. Sim. Parei com ele. Atacar. Quais são? Parei com ele. Parei com ele. Avançar. Sim. Entendido. Ao ser disposto. Parei com ele. Parei com ele. Parei com ele. Let's bring our conductors back. Quais são? And if that's the best attack force that they can muster, we'll be in real good shape. I think the important thing now is for us to start picking up uh, upgrades. And while these rams are moving their way in, I we'll actually want to move the remainder of our soldiers in as well. We do lose an organ gun there. It's not a huge deal. Let's pick up arson. And keep a constant stream of crossbows coming along. Let's try to move past the bridge, keep organ guns coming out, get some knights out as well. And if it isn't already abundantly obvious, we're going to be going for the seven military buildings destruction. Have you guys cross the bridge? Keep producing crossbows. Keep producing knights. Get more men at arms out. You guys, in the meantime, can go mine some gold. We're two for seven. Most of the military buildings are right on this side. So they'll be able to reach us soon. We can expect a barrage eventually. There they are. Some Condotiros, but most of them are just pikemen and archers. Nothing too concerning at all. More organ guns, more knights, white calves mixed in, some pikemen, pick up mana or er, long swordsmen as well. There's a relic for us to grab. Now we've got the relic, let's go back to the transport ship. Got a bunch of heavy pikemen over here now. They look cool, but I think they're still count as infantry. So in the end, they're still doomed to get rolled by hand cannoneers. More knights. More rams. More organ guns. Don't need pierce armor for my ships. And apparently I'm not allowed to reseed this farm. Okay. And we got one, two, three, four military buildings here. So this is where we should be focusing most of our efforts. Oh, my God. 
And soon enough, we will be finished with the level. Not much more to say, aside from the fact that it's a pretty straightforward opening level. Just having somewhat decent micro, you should be able to do this at a leisurely pace. There's nothing too insane that needs to happen in order for you to win. Here we go, this archery range will be the last one. If you want to go the mill route, there's one here. One here, one here, and then there's a, one more in the Fog of War right here. But it's uh, much more straightforward to just rush some rams across the bridge. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was pretty straightforward. This whole area of the map, all these resources, like, they're all safe. So at no point were we actually in any danger of truthfully losing. There's the fourth mill, in case you guys didn't believe me. But yes. Not much to report. Despite the successes of Don Francisco and Prince Juan, the Battle of Toro was indecisive. After three more years of war, a compromise was reached. Isabella was crowned Queen of Castile, joining that kingdom with Aragon into a unified Spain. In exchange, the wise King Alfonso, attuned to the changing times, received Spanish assurances that the African coast and the waters and lands to the east were a Portuguese dominion. Nice. Okay. So it's a, it's a fun first level, not trivial, or not completely trivial, but uh, definitely nowhere, nowhere near anything remotely difficult here. In any case, my name's been The Clever Fool. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys next time.